in this video we are going to talk about derivatives let me define the definition of the derivative the derivative of a function f with respect to the variable x is denoted by the symbol f dash of x and it is defined as follows f dash of x is equal to limit h approaches 0 f of x plus h minus f of h divided by h let us see one example use the definition to find the derivative of f of x equal to 2x in the previous slide we know that the definition of the derivative is given by this formula so if you see this formula i need to know what is f of x and what is f of x plus h this f of x is nothing but the given function so here my function is 2x so i need to calculate f of x plus h to find f of x plus h we simply replace wherever x in the given function i have to change x as x plus h if i have only one x we have to change that x as x plus h if i have more than one x then i need to change every x into x plus h so given f of x equal to 2x so what is f of x plus h in this function if i replace x by x plus h that will give you 2x and 2h now just substitute these two values f of x value and f of x plus h value in the definition okay so i will get f dash of x equal to 2x plus 2h minus 2x divided by h by cancelling plus 2x and minus 2x we will get 2h divided by x then again i cancel h and h i will get the derivative of the given function is 2 let us see one more example find the derivative of the function f of x equal to 3x minus x power 2 using the definition so let me write the definition then as we did in the previous problem let me write the function f of x which is nothing but 3x minus x power 2 then now i need to calculate f of x plus h as you see the function there are two x one x is here another x is here so i need to change this x to x plus h and this x to x plus h so what i will get i will get three times of x plus h minus x plus h power 2 then what is my next step my next step i need to simplify these two expressions so i just multiply 3 that will give you 3x plus 3h so we will get this part then i have a minus sign so keep the minus sign here in the second expression we have x plus h power 2 so by using a plus b the whole square i am getting x power 2 plus 2xh plus h power 2 in the next step let me distribute this minus symbol to all the three terms so this will become minus x power 2 the second term this will become minus 2xh and similarly if i distribute minus sign over here i will get minus h power 2 now as usual we have to substitute the f of x plus h value in the function and f of x value in the formula so that will give you this expression remember there is a minus sign before f of x and f of x you have two terms so don't forget to keep the minus sign and write the two terms in the parenthesis then if i expand this i will get this expression now whatever the possible cancelling terms cancel those terms so let me cancel 3x minus 3x minus x power 2 and plus x power 2 so we will have only three terms in the numerator h in the denominator in the numerator we have a common factor in the form of h so let me take h outside we will get h times of 3 minus 2x minus h 
now cancel this h and this h that will give you 3 minus 2x minus h now what is my limit my limit h approaches 0 so this h i am replacing by 0 that will give you 3 minus 2x let us see one more example the definition using the definition we need to find the derivative of f of x equal to square root of x so first let me write the definition we know that f dash of x equal to limit h approaches 0 f of x plus h minus f of x divided by h then what is f of x nothing but square root of x now i need to know what is f of x plus h so what i do i need to change this x into x plus h so that will give you square root of x plus h now by substituting these two values in the definition that will give you this one okay but what happen if i replace h equal to 0 if i replace h equal to 0 in this then we will get a 0 by 0 form so to avoid the 0 by 0 form we already know that we have to multiply and divide this expression by the conjugate so let me multiply by square root of x plus h plus square root of x and divide by the same expression now by using a plus b times a minus b the numerator will become x plus h minus x divide by the denominator will become h times of square root of x plus h plus square root of x by cancelling x and minus x we have left with h by this expression again by cancelling h and h we will get this one now replace h equal to 0 so that will give you 1 over square root of x we have already another square root of x so 1 over square root of x plus square root of x that will give you 1 over 2 times of square root of x so the derivative of the function square root of x is nothing but 1 by 2 times square root of x the same idea we just extend a little bit by introducing a point so now we are going to calculate the derivative of the function using the definition of derivative but now instead of x we are going to substitute the given point a in the formula so the formula will become limit h approaches 0 f of a plus h minus f of a divided by h so all the steps are same like what we did before the only thing we need to substitute the given point in the formula let us see an example use the definition to find the derivative of f of x equal to x power 2 plus 9x at the point a equal to 2 so let me write the definition then i need to find f of a what do you mean by f of a in place of a we need to substitute 2 where i substitute 2 we have to substitute 2 in the function so this will become 2 power 2 plus 9 times of 2 so 2 power 2 will give you 4 9 times of 2 will give you 18 so that will give you f of 2 equal to 22 then i need to find f of 2 plus h for this i have to change the x value in the function by 2 plus h so 2 plus h power 2 plus 9 times of 2 plus h by expanding this by using a plus b whole squared we will get the first three terms by distributing 9 to the next expression we will get these two terms by simplifying this i am getting f of 2 plus h equal to 22 plus 13 h plus h power 2 then i need to substitute f of 2 plus h value and f of 2 value in the formula so here i am going to substitute this value and this value 
So I'm getting this one. Now by cancelling 22 and minus 22, we will remain with the two terms in the numerator and h in the denominator. Then it is easily seen that we have a common factor h in the numerator by taking h outside that will give you 13 plus h by cancelling h and h and then by substituting limit h tends to 0 we will get 13 as my final answer. So now we will give you some problems to work out. So these are the questions, five questions. We have also given the solution. Just apply the concepts and check your answers. Similarly, the second model also. Find the derivatives at the indicated points. We have three more questions. So try this one. See you in the next video.